The third delocalized meeting of the Joint Committee on Health and Social Services, Agriculture and Human Rights has ended in Lume, Togo. Recommendation made focused on how to strengthen the care and protection of refugees and internally displaced. Moya Thomas tells us more. The growing concern about what refugees and internally displaced experience in the course of the first movement got the West African Parliament's attention. Some of them live in shanties, abandoned school buildings, or makeshift shelters that cannot provide any form of protection. They also lack opportunities for health care and adequate food supply despite efforts by international organizations. Remedies to these identified challenges has been the focus of the four-day discussion at this meeting in Lume, Togo, which eventually came to an end. There's no disagreement to that. Okay. The committee has requested that member states create favorable conditions for food security, health care, and housing of refugees and displaced persons living within their territory. They also charge government to create a favorable condition socially and economically for the reintegration of refugees and displaced persons into the society. 68. These parliamentarians explain how these recommendations can be strategically worked out. At the end of this uh, delocalized meeting, before I conclude, please al allow me to express my gratitude, the uh, gratitude of the parliament to the government and to the Togolese National Assembly for their support in the realization of this uh, meeting. On my part, I commit myself to uh, tr transmit the uh, uh, conclusions and recommendation. I hope to transmit it to the Bureau of the ECOWAS Parliament, and I do not doubt at all that this will be examined uh, carefully. You cannot sit in your country and think that you may not have displaced persons. It can arise out of a natural disaster. It's not only out of conflict that you have displaced persons. So we must prepare for it. We don't have to wait and we are knocked down and we don't know what to do. Then we are calling on uh, international organizations to come to our aid. We must get prepared at all times. One of the key recommendations and action plan is to do more consultation with the commission and also the commissioners and the experts that have given deliberations on the displaced persons and refugees. And this thing can only be done through capacity building, popularization of the text, and also legal instruments with civil society organizations and wider society to enable people to better understand the legal framework on displaced pers uh, dis people with displaced persons and refugees in West Africa and the world at large. At the panel discussion, members of parliament suggested that for proper accountability, member countries should always include in their country reports actions taken to ratify or implement the Kampala Convention. With the recommendation coming from this meeting, it is respite for the internally displaced and refugees within the West African sub-region as every government must make budgetary allocation for this vulnerable set of people. And also, the committee has recommended tackling the root cause of this forced movement. Moria Thomas, TVC News, Lome, Togo.